locked up in here. Come on, I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. I hate you, Cole. And I hate Nathan. And I hate everyone in this rotten fucking place. I know you don't mean it, Jody. Nathan just wants to protect you, that's all. Stop it, Cole. It's not gonna do any good. You're grounded, period. Are you done? Are you proud of yourself? I hope so. You have to clean all that up. They don't give a shit if we break everything in this goddamn room. If that's not gonna work, we have to figure out what will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's calmed down. She smashed up the apartment first, but <laughs> she's calmed down. Okay. Sure, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm, I'm really sorry, Cole. I hate myself for doing this, but you understand, right? I just, I need to go out tonight. Yeah, I know. It's too late to turn back now. Well, hello, Cole. Jody. Little late for day trip, isn't it? Well, it was Nathan's idea. Some kind of like night training in the D wing. I mean, as if my days weren't enough for his experiments. <laughs> it's funny, because, uh, you know, I just spoke to Professor Dawkins and. Uh... Oh, well, he, yeah, he just called myself. And, um, I. I don't know, it's just like a sudden flash of uh, genius or something, and so, um, yeah, he wants me to do this new experiment, but I don't know really much. Well, you know them scientists, they never stop. <laughs> What's up, Cole? Cat got your tongue? Hmm? He... Uh... He's in a really bad mood. I, I, he hasn't even said a word all day. Uh. He, he, lost, he, he lost his voice. I think it's like a, a virus or something. So, I, 
that's more than, that's more than I've gotten out of him all, all day long, so. Well, it's not contagious, buddy. You should be home in bed if you ask me. Safer for all of us. All right, well, see ya. Go on now. At least we don't have to look for Cole's car. There's cameras everywhere. Better not hang around here too long. Get in the car and start it up. Glamorous escape, but, but it'll do. Let's go, Aiden. I'll try not to attract attention, okay? You'll forgive me, right? I'll be back soon. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay, Aiden, take him into the forest. Make sure he's safe. This is the place. The girls must be inside already. They're not here yet. We'll wait. How old are you, Miss? I'm 21. I just want to eliminate. How old do you think she is? 
15, maybe 16. Now, what is she doing in here on her own? I don't know. Maybe she's looking for our cup. <laughs> Shine to that little hole. <laughs> You're wrong. told you not to go, and you disobeyed me. You know how dangerous that was for Cole and for you? Hell, Jody, don't you remember Kirsten's birthday party? You know what can happen with Aiden, right? Right? I don't know how to tell you this, Jody, so I'm just going to tell you. Your mom and I, we've been transferred. We have to leave the base. We really want to take you with us, but we think... Everyone thinks that it would be better for you to stay here with Professor Dawkins. Of course, we'll come to see you whenever it's possible. And when you're better, you'll join us in our new home. Okay? Well, I think it's for the best. Goodbye, dear. enough. Come on.
totally exhausted and thirsty, and I have no clue where we fucking are, so just play nice and give me a break, okay? Everything's gonna be okay. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm dying of thirst. And everything's fucked. But it's gonna be okay. Leave me alone, Aiden. Hey, Aiden. There's no reason to be nervous. Hey, I I'm so sorry to disturb you. I'm just looking for some place to spend the night, and and I was hoping that... You can't stay here. Sorry. Well, can I just... Can I just spend the night in your barn? Please? I, I mean, I promise I will be gone by morning. I told you you can't stay here. You need to leave now. Yeah, <laughs> It's okay. You can stay here tonight. Come in. What's your name? I'm Jody. I'm Paul. These are my sons, Corey and Jay. My mother, Shimasani. Don't be surprised if she doesn't answer you. She hasn't spoken in years. We're about to have dinner. Would you like to eat with us? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. We don't see many hitchhikers out here. Can I ask where you're headed? 
I just keep moving from day to day. I guess if I keep going long enough, I'll figure out where I'm headed. I see. This is the uh, first ranch that I've seen in, in miles. Mm. There used to be more of us. Many have left for the city. It's a hard life out here. Do you breed horses? Yeah, Mustangs. We also have a bunch of churros. Churros? Sheep. Oh. We sell their wool and milk. It's not much, but it keeps us alive. You guys are really far from everything here. Hmm. My family's lived here for generations. I was born here. I'll probably die here. I tell my boys to go. I know there's nothing for them here. But, uh, they want to stay with their grandmother and me, so. Coming? You stay in your room, no matter what you hear. What I hear? What do you mean? You value your life? Lock your door and don't come out until the morning. Very strange place. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a long way from here. Good night, Aiden.
Go back to your room right now! Please, Jody. Just do as I ask. looked exhausted. I told the boys to let you sleep. Thanks. I... I really needed it. Made some coffee. 